Hey, Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. I've had a few questions lately from people who are building out studios or doing things with their rehearsal space about the difference in um, soundproofing uh, versus, I guess you could say, sound deadening or acoustical treatment. So the way I look at soundproofing is obviously when you build a wall, you need to have insulation inside the wall. That would be to soundproof the outside noises from coming in. So typically what I do when I build walls for my rehearsal spaces, <clears throat> if I can, I use three sheets of sheetrock with a half inch, they call it sound channel, in between two sheets, then insulation, actually thicker insulation <clears throat> than normally you would in a, a typical wall. You actually compress it between the two pieces of sheetrock. Then another sheet of sheetrock on the other side of the stud. So it's uh, a three, three, three sheetrock thick wall with extra uh, insulation. I've had times where I couldn't do three sheets of rock where I've used poly so it's like a rubber membrane on one side so i put our sheet of rock and then the insulation and then a sheet of poly on the stud and then another sheet of sheetrock and that does a pretty good job and that's a little cheaper to do so if you're going to build a booth or build a, a studio in your in your home and you can't fit sheet three sheets of sheetrock in your in your area, you could always use poly. <clears throat> um, there's other ways to do it. You can actually build two walls next to each other. Um, a lot of times when people have transition zones, like where there's a door in between two rooms, they'll build one, two actual walls. So there's actually two doors. So you can open one door and, and then open the other. And then that creates a, a nice barrier. So that's sort of protecting you from outside uh, noise coming in. Now, like you can see on these walls, I have interior uh, baffles. Now, these are um, actually office dividers, and I just um, got a bunch of fabric at a fabric store, cut them up and stapled them on, and then I, I just uh, nailed them to the wall with the big uh, electric nailer with some glue, actually. Um, they're, obviously, this isn't... I didn't take readings from inside the room i just put these things up to deaden the reverberations and i just put as many as i thought would create a nice sound some people like to foam everything roof ceilings uh walls and all that i like to do it to to the extent that it actually um, has some reverberation but I'll, it's a pleasant sound so kind of depends on what you're going for a lot of times in a vocal booth you'll see you know people uh, just foam the whole thing and you want a real dead sound. Just remember that when you're recording, that if you have a real dead sound, that you will have to add reverb later. So sometimes you'd want the natural sound of a room. Sometimes you want to do it all in the computer with your plugins and whatnot. So it's kind of depends on what you what you're looking for. Now, in my rehearsal spaces, I just want it to sound good in the rehearsal space for the musician. So that's why I just chose these office dividers. If you took all of these office dividers out, it would sound very boxy and very live. And it would sound, you know, just wouldn't sound good. These uh, dividers are, you know, basically made of about an inch and a half, two inches worth of foam or actually insulation. And uh, they just take the edge off the room. They just calm everything down. So, and that helps um, people. You he you're able to hear more uh, of the different sounds coming from the different members of the band um, when it's not so. When it's some of it's getting soaked up and not bouncing back at you so fast. So, anyway, that's the difference between what I would call soundproofing from the outside and acoustically treating. Um, a room from the inside obviously you want to do both in a perfect scenario but if you can't get into the walls if you have a wall structure that you know you can actually poke into the walls and and uh, 
put insulation into a wall. I've I, I've done that before. In fact, I think I did that to these walls. Um, but that's a it's a can be a expensive and messy process, but it can be done. Um, but sometimes you just want to treat the room interiorly. And that's what I did here. So hopefully that helps if you're building out or uh, a studio or trying to get your room to sound good. Rock on. Mm -hmm.